This is definitely way that's first thing. This is an in-depth look of the Yezu DR1X system fusion repeater and the Yezu FT2DR handheld carrying seeker, which I have right here. In fact, I have all the repeaters programmed on this thing. Which is pretty cool. They're a, diff they're a wide range. In fact, I'm both VHF and UHF, so... Even open to Canada. So... Okay, so now I will first transmit on FM. You can see it says tone 100. Right. That's the first video that I know of that actually transmits to tone frequency. So now you'll hear the repeater ID. It's calling me on the 147.36, which is also system fusion. Now I can hear you. Where is it? Yes, we test it again. One, two, three, four, five. Blue radar's receipt. Okay, so now we're gonna test it on wideband digital. So. VW is this wideband. Where is it? Test digital 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This thing has a speaker on it, so I can actually test the audio on it. So, yeah. So that was wideband. This is narrow. DN. Testing DN. 1G345. Blue radar's receipt. Test 1G345. Back to FM. Blue radar's receipt. Testing FM1G3. Okay, so now it'll go into the setup screen. See the frequencies, of course. The squatch setting is well, it's pretty well. Of course, the power setting is at mid. I don't want to adjust that. Uh, for signaling, I have tone squatch 100 hertz. You can see the squelch type is tone for both, so it's actually transferring the PL. ID set, of course, I have the blue SSC slash RPT. For example, I can change that to say blue SSC slash YSF. So now it will ID as the Blue Radar Sensor slash YSF, the Yazoo System Vision.
the ID is not screenshot. The interval, of course, has to be 10 minutes or less, so I just keep it at 10 minutes. Uh, rounds mode, of course, CWD, since I don't have the voice chip, and I probably won't get it, because I hate how it sounds. I've heard it on a few repeaters in the area. I uh, first heard it on a VE3 repeater. I can't even remember what the call sign is, because I hate the, how it sounds, and can't even understand it. It's a VE3 something or other. <laughs> Doing a band opening. Pretty major one, in fact. And the uh, level, of course, high. It's not, it's not that bad of a tone, so why not? CW is for you, of course. 20 words a minute. I can change that to go higher or lower, but that would keep it at 20. Yeah, for the uh, remote, of course, off. The transmitter behavior is off, and the display timer. The timer of a, of in uh, the timer of, well, activity is 10 minutes, and the SQ of course is off, timeout timer is set to 3 minutes, there's also a squelch setting on this radio, so squelch hysteresis is normal, uh, squelch tail time, in other words, hang time. I have set to the highest setting, which is 2500 milliseconds. Of course, there's a... I don't know why they have this, but... It's adjusted in 50 millisecond increments. Like, if you wanted a short hang time, like that. Then they go into... 100 millisecond increments. So. But, it only goes up to 2500. It's like, why? Why not longer? Probably to just go to the switch to do so. I always like about a four second hang time, but that's just me. Okay. So right now it's in auto auto mode. I can change it to fixed FM. That way, everything will be coming out over FM. This is useful when I have like a remote base connected to the repeater. Like if I were to transmit now on DN. That from the radio, that's just the FM mode. So, switch that back to audio. See that voice wide is selected. Uh, so, right now it is in. transcript. It's on the AMS right now. So that's voice Y. VW. DN is the data transmissions. That's actually, uh, that's actually, uh, you see that it's selected normal. So that's for voice. And you can see that the... So basically that uses six and, a, six and a quarter kilohertz for voice, six and a quarter for data. We double this voice wide, so it uses the entire twelve and a half kilohertz for voice. And then when I hook up this, camera mic to the radio, I can send pictures and other data, uh, so I can actually, uh, let's send that and then we'll go to data, so it actually shows you where 
what mode of transmission everything is. So, if I were to go to FM, you'll see that it goes to FM. Test one, two, three. Oh, that's what So, the Archon controller is not hooked up yet. My future plans are to either hook up the Archon or, more likely, sell this Archon controller to the U of M Club and hook up an SCOM 7330. Because it is a way more feature rich controller, in my opinion, than that Archon. So. my plan for that. So, the repeater actually now should ID, uh, so you'll be able to hear. In fact, you'll hear the ID over the speaker, which I think is pretty cool. So, when I just put your keys up, like, you key up over FM, it'll probably ID. We have to see testing one, two, three. Uh, apparently not, but. Okay, so that is 147.36. Let me actually go to that frequency. In this video. Okay, I'm on FM now, so I have to switch to Auto Mode Select. In fact, hang on, let me see if I can hit this. Deploy SRC Testing 3.6 by making it on digital. That is pretty strange that this repeater is not identifying itself. So. No idea why. <laughs> the volume, in fact, is turned up. So. Should, whoops. Should be able to hear the ID. Oh, here we go. Hang on. I just missed it. Just barely receiving this thing. Because of course I'm in the basement. Deploy us for seat testing. No, I can't even hear it really. So. You can tell. This is again. This is FM. No, this is digital actually. Down. So that is voice wise. This is digital, normal. So that has error correction to it in case you like offer offer it out of range. <laughs> and this is traditional conventional FM. Completely that's a seat testing FM. Okay, and with that, I'll say something for now. And for those of you getting started with System Fusion, it is fun. I've only spent two days on it, on the mode. It is definitely fun. 7-3. Deploy it as we see.